Nobody warned me about anything. No one told us about this. No one forecasted this. Yeah, that's going around now that no one was told. No one was being made aware of what is happening. It's happening on every front. But now everyone is starting to wake up to the fact that they've been had. But there are people that are pre-COVID. There are people that have been warning you all these years. Let's take a look at what's happening and what the Japan Times is rep the Japan Times is reporting about Canada and now people in Canada are saying no one told us about this we were never warned about this well you are being warned about it now because there's a lot of post covid heroes out there and post trucker heroes or whatever that are now coming off uh you know sensationalizing all the stuff but warnings were put out there for many years now, if you've been following this channel at least three, four, maybe five years, go ahead and click off. We're just going to go over a few things that we've already talked about multiple times on this channel. And I know it pisses a lot of the regular viewers off. You guys could go off. I'll see you guys tonight. I'm on. I was going to be a special mic in the night tonight. I'll see you tonight. Okay. Now, for you that are hanging or for you folks that are hanging around, and especially the ones that are stating that nobody warned us about this. Well, let's see what's happening and why is it becoming something now? And why wasn't it being fixed when we could have fixed it years ago? Why? Why are they coming now and saying, oh, yeah. So, by the way, this is the problem. It's like a typical Joe Rogan Captain Obvious. We, we knew that. So let's take a look at what is happening here. So this is the Japan Times reporting this. Homelessness explodes in Canada as rent as rents and housing prices soar. Why is this making headlines now? It, it, uh, is it because the pandemic? Well, I'm going to show you it was before the pan, way before the pandemic. So there it is right there. Canada is gripped with the surge in homelessness that has seen tens of thousands of people priced out of rental and real estate markets and uh, and left to live on the streets of the wealthy nation. Uh, researchers warn government data is vastly uh, underestimating the number of homeless across the country as social ills spreads from major cities to small towns. Wow, these people may have watched all these videos we've been making in the last 10 years. In Quebec, one in two homeless people can be found in rural parts of the eastern province instead of mainly in Montreal. And had been the case in the past, according to a new report published in September. Yes, it's always been the case. The downtown Lower East Side in Vancouver has always been the downtown Lower East Side in Vancouver, right? Uh, left for months, a makeshift camp in Woodlands near a cemetery in Granby Town of 70,000 inhabitants, 80 kilometers east of Montreal, after being evicted in June from an apartment he rented with his girlfriend. I work five days a week. Look at this. A working. Working. The janitor um, with, with, with disbelief, uh, brown hair, said as he pushed a shopping cart to the campsite. At age 39, this is the first time in his life that he has found himself living in the streets with little housing where it is, uh, it is much too expensive, he said. Blocks away from the from a park has been transformed into a makeshift encampment for men and women of all ages, some of them employed like Border Cote there. Nearly one in four homeless people found themselves on the streets after being evicted from housing, according to the Quebec government report. So between 2018, there are 20, look at this, before, before the pandemic and 2022, the number of homeless people in Quebec increased 44 points. Uh, their numbers swelling to 10,000 last year. Indigenous people represent 5% of the Canadian population are particularly overrepresented in the streets, especially the Inuit, said Lucier. So, visible homeless did not exist three years ago in, in Granby. That's in Granby, but it did in Quebec City, it did in Montreal, right? Mayor Judge Julie Barton said, admitting that the rents are very high uh, now compared to two years ago. Now, so we're breaking this down. We're, they're figuring, like, they're bringing this out now. Why is it making headlines now when this could have been fixed a long time ago? So let's go back. Now, look at what we were already reporting on. 
This is three years. This could be almost four years ago. That YouTube likes to make it look like it wasn't long ago. Hospital to discharge ban to homeless shelter. Canadian social m- medicine is falling apart fast. Middle class Canadians forced into homelessness due to money laundering and dangerous low rates. Six percent. I think more and more Canadians being bought out of today's real estate markets will see major affordability issues in 2018 and 2019. And I'm not sure how far government, so there, there it is right there. More Canadians and full-time workers, full-time workers being forced into homelessness. Edmonton, 10th City, torn down three years ago. This one up here is from six years ago. Middle class forced into homelessness due to money laundering, by the way. Vancouver is dying. Vancouver, 10th City, dismantled again. Housing, basic affordability out of reach six years ago. Homeless situation out of control in Canada. CCP money laundering. Uh, when is enough enough? Right? So let's keep going. We were warning you guys, and we've read this article a hundred times on this channel. Canada would be in a recession without money laundering. We're here today because of money laundering. Yes! They pulled the trigger because of money laundering. SPX, money laundering. Ukraine, money laundering. We've been telling you guys, it's all money laundering. It's all criminal activity. You are homeless. You are losing everything because of money laundering. Get it through your head. So there it is right there. And this is an older article from, what is this, 20? We've been, I remember even making this video. I remember in 2019, May. So there's the money laundered, hundreds of billions of dollars uh, laundered. Here it is by province, Canadian provinces, how much hundreds of billions of dollars has been um, laundered through Canadian provinces. That's 10.7 billion. Look at this, look at this. Look at the billions of dollars through Ontario, through all different... And combating money laundering, BC real estate, uh, the the most interesting bit of the report, money laundering is growing faster than GDP. Money laundering is growing faster than GDP. And we report on that. So what's happening? So that pushes up the price of rental housing all over. Middle class forced into homelessness. Illegal suites cracked down. Average one bedroom cost, uh, 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 rental cost across Canada. Middle class going broke. Rental Rental price madness two years ago. Uh, rental wars, low income, can't afford rent in 91% of Canadian cities due to CPP money laundering. Rents in Ontario, can, uh, Ontario, Canada set the skyrocket. More, max, more mass exodus ahead, rate hikes, food shortages. Over half of Toronto can't afford a one bedroom. Get out now, four years ago. My opinion, Toronto will be a wasteland and an empty shell by 2023. At this rate, it uh, it's deterioration. They will need to drastically raise taxes to keep these cities operating at a basic minimum. It's over and over and over, one after another. And then here we go. We pulled this up. We we talked about this back in 2019. A bachelor rent, fourteen hundred and uh, and uh, and some. And the west side, a three bedroom goes for three thousand seven hundred. That's considered affordable for a for a one bedroom, fourteen hundred. That was already that was already expensive, okay. Uh, uh, and then on the west side, a three bedroom goes to thirty from thirty seven hundred dollars. And we were trying to find that article that we did that thirty seven hundred dollars in Vancouver is considered affordable rent, affordable housing. And again, same thing, same thing, broken record. Toronto mass exodus, it's real. Food and fuel set the skyrocket. What else? Get out now. Toronto mass exodus, housing crisis. They will tax you to death five years ago. Uh, Canadian nurse uh, leaving for Florida. Canadian brain drain as mass exodus is real. Affordability five years ago. Mike in the night, it's getting expensive in big cities. Mass exodus ahead as people can't afford food. Five years ago, blue state exodus. We talked a lot about it, but I want to focus on Canada, right? So how did this happen? Well, Canada wants more Chinese students and tourists. And Canada has been bringing in through the back door, and you cannot find this on Stats Canada. They are bringing in 500,000, and they were opening up visa offices with Canadian tax dollars to bring in 500000 per year. But nobody listened about this. Nobody cared. Because you go to StatsCan, this doesn't show you 500000 Chinese per year. It tells you something else. It shows you other cultures, but it doesn't show you the Chinese are taking us over. And again, we Shinada, gold mine, CPP takeover of Canada, China dub by 2022. America, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 watch this. America, this is a national security threat. Chinese government is picking Canada apart. China dub by 2025, five years ago. Get out of Vancouver. By 2020, housing is ruined. CCP is taking over Canada. Shinada, six years ago. 
So look, quiet streets, no one around, Vancouver, BC, six years ago, me reporting, look, and I left Vancouver because of this. Now you're getting people telling you over and over that we weren't warned about this. Nobody told us about this. Why is this happening? Why did our governments fail us? Well, because it's money laundering. Our GDP is propped by money laundering. Everything that we have is propped by money laundering. You're, you're paying more in rent and your employer is forced to pay you more money to keep you employed because of money laundering. Everything is money laundering. Everything has been destroyed because of money laundering. Criminals need to get their money offshore with jobs we sent over there during the early Clinton administration, with jobs we sent over to, to China to make the wealth and then come back here and buy us out. It's been an economic takeover all these damn years. But nobody, nobody warned us. Yeah, you're getting now documentaries from COVID heroes that are coming now and saying, look at the housing in Canada. We've been warning you for years. We've been warning people about this and trying to wake people up to this. I'm only one person. I have videos on there that don't even have 90 views from six years ago. So I've been doing my part. Yes, you've been warned. You've been warned for years. Stop following people that you think are being honest or true. Nobody knows I exist. Why? Because I'm telling you the truth. Mike Martin's here. I have spoken.